Good morning. Today we're going to be working on the doodles for Galatians chapter 1. So in this chapter, we first answer the who, what, where, when, and why. And on that, I ask you to write your answers and then to either draw a circle around them or a box or fun notebook paper. So the notebook paper um, sounds trickier than it really is. Basically you're going to be drawing a rectangle with three sides and then down this third side you're going to make it look like it was ripped out of a spiral notebook. So how I do that is I draw a line down and then a U sideways and then down and then another U and you just keep going like that down the side of your paper. I'm going to join up at the end. And then you can add some holes, just like notebook paper, and um, have your writing inside there. Or if you just want this to be like off the side of your page as decoration, you can add in the lines. Like that. Um, you can also add some shading to this by just going underneath the top part of each of these U's and drawing a darker line. Kind of make it look like it's casting a shadow. And then do the same for underneath the paper. Just color in a darker line there. And that kind of gives a little bit of a 3D effect. And then for the next part I have you draw a megaphone and how we do that is just a simple skinny oval and then a line up, a line down, and round the end. And then you can just leave it like that. That's a nice basic megaphone. Or you can add the handle by drawing some double lines right there. And you can do it the other way. Again, an oval, a line up, a line down, and round the end like that. We're also going to learn a lot about Paul in the book of Galatians, and especially in Galatians 1 and 2. And so I'm going to have you draw Paul, and how we're going to do that is we're going to draw a circle for his head, and his bowling pin body. And in the, I think it was the book of Acts, it talks about that Paul... Uh, took a vow and a lot of Nazar or a lot of scholars believe that it was a Nazarite vow and part of that was shaving his head so I always draw Paul with stubble for hair and then two eyes and then scribble in his beard and remember to do the beard you scribble but you do it in you vary the direction so it's not swirls but scribbles and it's just messy and then you can also draw like a robe on him if you want or add any extra details. It's fun to go back through all of your doodles and just outline. Maybe bump out just a little bit of that outline so that it looks like it's 3D-ish. And just adding this little outline I think adds a lot of, it makes it just look more professional, more meaningful, Like that. Okay, and then I also have you draw, there's a bonus um, doodle of money, and that's a simple rectangle, skinny, with a circle in the middle, and circles in each corner, and some scribbles for words, and you can leave it like that. Remember to outline it, or cast a shadow below it. Or you can also add just kind of a little wonky circle in the middle. Maybe looks like a profile of somebody. And then I'm going to have you do, or at the, at the bottom of the Galatians 1 page, you'll see a kind of wavy banner. And those aren't nearly as tricky as they look. So let's start with first your basic banner, which is just a rectangle. And then you can bump the end in like that. You could do the same 
rectangle, bump the end out. You could do a banner down the side of your page. Same thing, bump it in like that. Then you can do a single wave banner. And this one, you're going to curve a line up and bring it in and go out. So it looks, I don't know, kind of like a backwards S. Then you're going to bring this bump and draw a straight line down to meet that line. And then you're going to draw a straight line and leave it hanging in the air. A straight line, leave it hanging in the air. And then this is the end of the banner, so you can either clip it like that, bump it out like that, or just make it a straight line. And then for this bottom, you're just going to match what you draw here with the line that's above it. So you're going to curve it up there. And then you're, this kind of curves down just a hair and then goes up. So I'll curve down and then go up. And that's your banner. Shade this side so it looks like it's the back. And that's your single wave banner. And then you can do a double wave banner by doing two bumps. And then same thing, we're going to touch the backs down to this line. That's your shaded part. We can shade it in right now. And then you're going to bring lines down and just leave them hanging in the air. Let's make this one a rectangle <coughs> or a cut in. And then we're going to match the lines. Match. Whoops, that was kind of wonky. And match. And that's it. That's your double wave banner, your single wave banner, and your straight banners. Alright, thanks a lot.